Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome back to Empire Season 2. The Goblin Empire has grown with a brand new entrance. Now, behind the shiny entrance, I've been surviving off cave potatoes, but no more. Today, it's time to build an animal barn to house the beautiful and delicious pigs. A real quick shout out to Teeny Beanie for this awesome fan art. Now be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. In between last episode and now, I've been a busy little goblin making trade deals, attracting customers from far and wide to purchase my wares. First, Gemini Tay stopped by to get some quartz, which I had from my last nether adventure, and she gave me some honeycomb as a trade. While waxing my roof, Mythical Sausage stopped by to try and buy a pass to the skeleton spawner, after giving him a tour, I managed to get a pretty good deal. After a very successful sales pitch to Lizzie, she decided to come back. Welcome Hello, on back. Goblin. Look who's back. Oh. Look, I've got a whole llama load of amethyst crystals. A llama load? Oh, that is a llama load. It's all for you in exchange for that book so I can get access to those bones. Here you are. One skeleton farm access key <gasps> for you. Thank you. Now, as a final catch up, I streamed from Empires for the first time of the season and went mining. So be sure to ring the bell so you don't miss out on the streams. I went mining in the deep dark for the first time and managed to get a load of new ores. I mean, just look at this. This is insane. How much copper this is. Whew. I love it. Last episode, I dug a secret minecart tunnel to Joel. So naturally, I need a secret exit into his base as well. The earth has been shaking recently, so I need to do some investigation work first. Following the pathway Lizzie dug, we can get all the way over to his base. And what is that? That's the fountain we dug into up there. Oh no, did he find it? Oh, that's a really big hole. I don't think it goes deep enough to find our cave, but maybe we can? Cause I dug it like right centered on this thing. Let's block that back. Oh, there it is, there it is. That's us, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is actually gonna be so good. So we need to get up there. So step one, we need to have a door to get ourselves out. So we do this, whip redstone, activates, and then we deactivate that and the door's open. Perfect. Button. And we're out. Oh, that's gonna be great. Now a second redstone line. I should be able to use it. No, no, I should not. If we just do a little something right over in here, he's never gonna see the button. And then that. No, just move a little line right over here. Ah, there we go. Press the button and we're in. Oh yes. Now I just need to spruce up this place down here a touch so it looks a little nicer. To decorate, I added in a ladder leading up to the door itself before adding in some supporting wooden bits to keep the cavern from caving in as things are getting pretty crazy up there with all of the floating islands being brought out of the earth. After that, I did assemble a small storage station so I can put any goodies I might find in the Sky Empire here to keep. Now, this is looking like a pretty good little hideout down here. I really like it. And now, more importantly, we can slide... Oh, that opens the trap door. That doesn't work. We can slide in and out of Joel's empire under the shadow of his own floating islands whenever we want. Could I walk over? Yeah, but secret tunnel with that sorted now i've heard mythical sausage has a ton of mending books and he also needs a lot of copper so i'm gonna see how many we can get for a whole stack of blocks of copper all right here we are in sanctuary we finally made it hey oh, angry man angry tall no, man don't, don't, don't i'm an angry him. tall man no. i don't like the angry tall man he's the protector of my villager be careful all right we're fine come on <laughs> over come on down i've heard you've been need of some of these guys. Blocks oh, of yes, copper. look, I have a little bit there. And this is all I got. I would love a little more for my build that's coming Well, out. I've got plenty. The Goblin oh. Empire is full of it. I've got so much. Oh. I've got a whole stack Wait. of blocks here, and I've heard you got the mending books. Come on down. Come with me. I have a, I have a supply. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, this is nine stacks of copper ingots. Um, Can we get a One second. One second. Um, what? One moment. One. I'll be right back. What beautiful levels of service we get in this fine, fine establishment. I mean, he is gone. Okay, I got it. I got it. Do I go inside now? I got a deal of a lifetime for you, my friend. Take this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine mending books, just like that. Oh wow! Thanks. Oh, that's so good. And here you go. Have some copper. Oh, thank you. Blah. Oh. oh, sorry. The villager stopped it. Calm there down. Go. Back at home now, and I am so happy to have all of these mending books, which means I can finally upgrade my tools and armor with mending. And this is going to be very, very useful. 
Okay. I need to go get a little bit more experience because I need one level. I'm on one level and I need two. I guess since I have to go there anyways, I might as well repair all of my tools at the skeleton spawner. And then we get to work on our animal pen right down there. And much better. Now everything has mending on it, except the sword. And we're ready to go on the next project, where I want to create an animal pen down here in the chasm. One problem, though, as it's not really a goblin safe certified work zone. So quickly gathering up the minerals and placing some torches. I was not expecting to get multiple stacks of ores out of that. Next, we need some mangrove roots and ladders. First, I need a quick way for myself to get in and out super easily. So I'm thinking some ladders right here will do great. Get some supports connecting all the way down to the ground, and we're good. Next step in making this a safe place for some animals to hang out, we need to extend our safety barricade out a little further so the dangerous mobs of the cavern, mostly the deep dark, aren't able to get in. See, look at him. Oh no, he's coming back. He wants more. Yeah, you get out of here. You know what? Maybe three tall. Next up, I want to replace all of the stone down here and anything that's not dripstone with all of this coarse dirt. I unfortunately did run out of dirt, but things are starting to look really, really good up here. I just need to go to the overworld a little bit more and a few more stacks should do it. And there we go. The entire animal pit is now dirtified outside of the current barbecue pit as I wanted to get as much of this lava as I can. Ooh, there's even coal down here because I really want to expand the lava farm soon before we set up a super smelter. But that coal does look pretty tasty. What is the chance of death here? I need a good over under. I think we're pretty safe though. That should be enough lava to kickstart us and we have even more fuel to maintain us in the current time but with that blocked off i can now seal this in here and we can finally bring some animals into the cave i need some levels i don't know if you can help me out there i heard from a birdie you might have something that i can hmm. use hmm. i do i do i am selling passes right now to a double skeleton spawner i have shiny gold but i actually I forgot to bring it with me, but oh, I, well, I could. Oh, that's I guess. I mean, I, I gotta, I got some errands I gotta go run, so you know, I can just walk off over here and. Wait, I have, I have something shiny that. I... <laughs> oh, oh, well, wow! I have some free time in my schedule. How's it going? Huh? This is very shiny. Ooh, it's running away from me. Ooh, a diamond pickaxe. I do. I do. You know what? I do like diamond pickaxes, and I'm feeling quite generous today. Your neighbor gave okay. me a great deal earlier, so I think we can make something happen here. With the animal area ready to go, I'm going to need a large amount of potatoes before we venture off into the wilderness. There's not much fertile land in the cave, so we've definitely got to replant it. And we're off to find the beautiful little pink piggy boys over there. Oh, I love them. Hi, buddy. Do you have any friends? There's got to be some friends in the forest, right? You know what? You're right by the gate. I'll come back for you. Nope, nope, not, not a pig. Oh, pigs. We got two, three, four. <gasps> oh, this is great. We can start the herd. Come on, everybody. Up the rock. Up. Yep. You can walk up the dirt. I know you're very talented. Welcome to your new home in the Goblands. The Goblin Empire of the Goblands. Yes, I've decided on the name and I'm introducing it while herding pigs inside of the cave. Yes. Now, hopefully they all want to follow me in here and do the dripstone. Watch the spikes, please. Let's drop down somewhere where there's not dripstone everywhere. Okay, friends. Oh, he went for it. Okay. Well, he survived. You'll be fine, right? Oh. Not fine. There we go. And now follow me in. Only the brave and talented pigs can survive down here. And we have a baby. He's adorable. I have to go get the last one. Down in the cave, please. There you go. Fall into the water. Ooh, well, he lived. And now the herd of swine shall grow. Nope, nope. Pigs only down here. Zombie free zone. Taking some of the shulker shells sausage gave me in the last episode and making some chests. We can get our first shulker boxes. With these, I need to start getting a ton of materials together so we can build an animal barn back there. Thankfully, I have a big problem with hoarding resources in my Minecraft worlds. So my chests are full of a ton of stuff. Let me see how much I can pull out of here that we... Oh, I'm into the boat. Let me see what I can pull out of here. Throwing in a bunch of mud. Then crafting up a ton of different types of wood items from mangrove items to spruce to acacia and everything else we could need. And of course, the absurdly expensive note blocks. That being said, I've got everything I could need in these two shulker boxes, which means it's finally time to start building. But first, I want to get some more potatoes to breed up the piggies one more time. All right, come on, everybody. Let's get the whole herd together. I'm gonna build you all a nice new home. Don't you worry, my piggy friends. Look at them. Oh, they're adorable. Okay, let's get building. With 
the first wall done, I thought we could give ourselves a ladder to get all the way up to the top, just right over in here. Something that the pigs can't climb, but we can get all the way up here. Then adding in a few dummy blocks, we can add in some of the acacia trap doors going around so that we don't fall off once we're up there. It can be a door to get inside to like a loft. Then from here, we can just stack up a little bit of the roof going around using a bunch of the mangrove. There we go, that's looking really good. Time to bring it around a little bit further. Using some mud brick, I want to create a stronger looking base here for the center. Almost like the other structures on the side, the lighter ones are using this for support. Then we can just put a solid wall coming all the way back in here to the edge of the cave. We'll flatten out the land inside so that it's actually usable for the animals. But we can throw some campfires up here so it has an awning to block all the rain, you know. Decorative note blocks up here. Little mangrove window right there to match up with the tower we have. Next, we can grab some acacia and use this for the roof so we can break it up from the mangrove and just stack it all the way back up here oh the pigs are already loving it okay perfect we need another structure over here because they seem to really like this spot I think we can definitely breed up the pigs one more time now, so let's gather the herd. All right, everybody, welcome to your brand new animal pen. Uh, I think we lost some. Oh, no, they're back there. Okay, eventually we'll have plenty of pigs down here. Look at him, he's inside. Oh, that's fantastic. I will say it's a little flat right now, and in the effort of minecarts transporting everywhere, I think we raise this section up a touch more. Clearing out the roof, we can start to extend ourselves up this way. Probably about, uh, maybe we get the note blocks to this tall? Then inside the center to make it a bit more interesting we could have an entryway in here somehow for a minecart to come in and out adding a bit of wonk to the archway then here we can extend ourselves out with a rail but i gotta get it up there so grabbing some fences some spruce planks and maybe the spruce stairs we do need a spot to get some powered rails in here so maybe we just do a slab with a redstone torch bring these guys back rails and then they come up here and continue off this direction and i'll get it over there soon but let's focus on this guy where i just want to create a flat place for us to be able to stand and decorate it like we did on the big tower in the starter house throwing in some barrels do some more slabs and trap doors then some deep slate on top of the barrels i think would be nice but from down here this is already looking really good a little brown heavy but i like it next i've got to figure out a way to get the minecart from here all the way back up to somewhere near the starter house we're starting out by creating a bunch of spruce platforms for the minecraft rail to go on top Getting closer to the starter base now, I want to create a large platform for the minecart to end at. Taking some spruce, we can create a small 3x3 platform that's going to stick up right in here. But I got to use some barrels to decorate, otherwise it's going to be way too boring. I'll leave this one right here open so we can have a ladder to get up, but the rail could end right here. Next up, I just need to put rails along this entire line to connect all the way down there. But I'm almost out of gold, so I can't make any more powered rails. I guess we've got to dive into the pile. I'm definitely leaving the raw gold behind, though. Much more valuable. A brand new rail is set up and ready to go right over here. And I am loving the theme behind this base so much already using these for transportation. And it's looking so good. But well, inside, it's still kind of just a cave full of pigs but before we decorate that thing out i want a big flashy sign up here on top since the cave is so dark and gray i think adding in a lot of elements like these big old signs is gonna be a good way that we can bring some more brightness and color and just general contrast into this place otherwise it's gonna be very bleak in here and really boring in the end so we've got some more glazed terracotta if i can figure out how to set this up correctly this way nope Oh, I hate glazed terracotta. Oh no, that was right. Oh, perfect. And I might be completely out of iron, but yeah, I'm using decorative anvils. Just look at this thing. Oh, I love it. Very clearly, the sign says this is the animal pen. Can't you tell? You can witch, come here, my piggies. They really love this corner over here. Come here, everybody. Come on. The herd is really growing. Oh, I love this. Next up to fix up the inside as it's a little uh, gross. First, we can start by leveling it. And you can see I was being really cheap on the resources. So I'm going to have to bring some more mud in. So it still feels like a cave. Maybe the back is raised up just a touch. And I think I'm going to have to retexture that. Definitely at at least finishing off a good like roof 
ceiling a ceiling and a ceiling inside of the cave i don't know but already there's so much more space inside of there for a bunch of animals to hang out so that's really good the ground is fixed now to bring in some support beams and create a second floor for myself to run around something like this should be good for the piggies and a few supports like that from here we can use some slabs to create the floor and maybe a torch so i don't kill myself when i go up there this is looking really good but the back is a little bland right now so i want to bring in that white pattern that we had used as a bit of like patchwork at the grand and front entrance to the goblin empire and incorporating a little bit of the birch to make it look like this stuff was painted on top just to do that in all the other rooms and then we can make it look like a great place for some piggies to hang out after building all of the walls inside of the pig pen i jumped into the nether to go find some soul soil oh um i guess that's all the nether dimensions cool here for soul sand and now the pig pen is looking much better with a little bit of texturing i added in some green bits as well here with the moss and mossy cobblestone you can see the soul soil going all the way inside of the houses and i also added in some glow berries just to bring some more green and light into the area next up running upstairs we need to finish off the minecart track things are a little tight back here and we'll fix them up soon but most importantly this is not very functional first powering the rail right there then i would like to turn it and bring it down here a touch where we just put our same stopping station right like that and a redstone torch right nope there not the best looking thing right now then we'll fix it up later but it's pretty good can the minecart take us home let's see oh we made it oh and i think we're smooth sailing all the way back to the starter base for some reason my pigs absolutely love the corner back here but look at them they're all aging like fine swine the herd shall grow before they eventually kill themselves on the dripstone spikes because i've found a few pork chops lying around hopefully they learn to avoid it they're smart right next up to make it a little bit safer in here we can add a little glow like in and also detail the structures a bit more with it like they've been here a while also got some more of the crimson roots and i thought throwing a few of those inside the back of the pens could be kind of cool like some more stuff's growing in here ah there's a hoglin why is there a hoglin in here what are those those aren't those aren't hoglins approach carefully hey are we oh Oh, do you like me? Are we friends? Hello? <gasps> um, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm on the pig. I am actively sitting on top of the pig right now. Hold on a minute here. Does that mean I can put a saddle on the pig? I don't have any carrots to make a carrot on the stick though, so we'll just have to try without. Oh, they're still there. It was not my imagination. <gasps> look at him. Oh, he's beautiful. He's got a saddle bag and everything. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're traveling in style. I've got my very own Pumba. Oh, I love him so much. So as we know with lore and very heavy lore, lore focused things right here, very lore heavy. If we just keep breeding the pigs, lore wise, lore. We'll get more lore giant pigs that we can ride around on into battle. But for now, we just need to lore wise breed up the baby piggies and then we get the big lore giant piggies lore. Is that how you lore? Because I think I'm loring. Look at all of them. Oh, we have so many pigs. Soon we'll, we will feast. But for now, the extra potatoes will go in here. Now that we've got the big guys living down here and that is absolutely amazing. Look at him. He's beautiful. I need to have a way to actually get them out of the cave because right now, well, the exit over here, we completely blocked off to keep it safe. But I think with some dark oak fence gates, we can create ourselves an opening. So taking some of our mangrove fences here and a little bit of spruce on top. Maybe we just create a bit of an archway. Jimmy will be happy. We're creating our own ranch up here, but something like that should work out really well. And maybe we just get rid of the spikes. Now from here, the pigs really want to get out, but we're going to leave them inside. Oh, I've still got these villagers down here. I will have to move them soon, but I really don't want our big piggies to end up well near that thing at all. So we need to expand a little bit of a containment wall along here. We've got a little bit of skulk over here, but at that point, it does lead us up to this where I can break a few blocks and just clean it up a touch next up grabbing a little bit of cobblestone and some slabs probably some more slabs this won't be the final version of the pathway into the goblin civilization but it can at least be a start And now we're all the way down to the bottom of the cave. So the first pathway leading up to at least my starter house is complete. Next, I'm gonna need two chests and two boats because I really wanna move those zombie villagers up here so they're at least not in the way. Right, buddies, please don't kill me and please don't be nitwits. 
Oh, I think they both have professions. That's good this time. We don't need your friend. You can stay down there. Well, come on in. Why don't you take a seat right there, buddy? And then the next one, come on over here. Just sit on down right there. Perfect. Now, next problem is I don't really have a way up from here to the entrance. I mostly just climbed my way up this cliff, and that's probably not the best. For the route to the entrance, I built a new wooden walkway and then cut a hole through the side of the cave to link all the way up to the top section. But now it's time for a quick test. Let's see if we can get on our giant boar, who definitely needs a name. Let me know your ideas in the comments and see if we can get out of this place without knocking our head into everything. Step one, we're out. That's good. Safely making it by the deep dark. And up we go. Ooh, this is a little narrow. Little narrow, but we're doing it. And the cave. <gasps> oh, it works. He's a little too fast for the server to handle, but oh my gosh, look at our pig. He's outside. This is going to be fantastic for any graveling goblin salesman pitches we need to make. Because look, there's Joel's face. Oh, it took like 30 seconds to get here. It did so much better. But for now, we're going back into Gobland because even though, okay, maybe it hurts a little bit coming down. Even though we have our new boar to travel around and that is fantastic. But in true goblin style, we use minecart rails to travel. So it's about time to dig a new secret minecart tunnel to a brand new empire. Because I would love to tackle the deep dark soon and I need a lot of wool, I think we're gonna head over to Catherine's today. I think we can go right over here and just go straight north and we'll hit Catherine. Ah, the first problem. We'll fix it later. <gasps> Grass block. Where are we? There's the village. Oh, that's Catherine's village, which means there she is right over there. Secret tunnel is complete. If I go, oh, there it is. I thought I lost it. Okay, we will leave those in there for now. Next up, we got to get a bunch of rails along this pathway, which is very, very long. I did thankfully find a giant cave during the process, so I got 41 blocks of raw iron, which might be able to help us out here. Just making it back into the goblin cave and that we're at negative 600 here about. Oh no, this is a 900 block long rail. What if instead we travel by pig with carrot on stick? I think that might be more efficient, but at least this means I keep collecting more cobblestone we can sell to people on the server and I'll start smelting everything down that I can so we can get started. Good thing I've been stocking up on lava. You know what? Instead, we're gonna be smart about this. Let's get a little stone, melt that down. We make ourselves a few hoppers and chests here. And just in the secret working area here in the back that I never show, we can set up a mini super smelter. I just need to get that stone to smelt to make myself another blast furnace. Right, super smelter assembled. Now we can drop all of the iron in the top, put a bucket of lava in each of them, and those should cook down real quick. Wait, what? How long have I had those? That's definitely enough iron. I've got everything here ready to go and look how much iron and gold we have. I forgot redstone to make more powered rails though. And back we go. There we go. Now I've got all the resources I should need. And here we are all the way at the end where I think we can turn ourselves this way and we can stop the rail right here. Now for the test that hopefully this system will work. If we use the minecart here, we can go get some resources to build the secret base on this side. And we are off. This is a very, very long minecart tunnel and I really hope I put the power rails. I've got a stack left. So if we need that some more, we can do that. And there we go. We've made it. Okay, let's get some more supplies. She's never gonna know. They're not gonna know because it'll both be dirt there. And now we just need to unpower that torch which from the inside can literally just be a button there from the outside does that work no but this will work haha -ha. oh haha -ha. and we're inside oh that's so good we'll get the decoration sorted on that one soon but now we have two people's bases connected to the goblin empire these tunnels are gonna start getting really 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 i'm going until we turn the corner really 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 long that's the short stretch I'll see you in two minutes when i get back to base back home with my boys now and there's one thing i desperately need inside of this world unfortunately from an empire i haven't connected to yet but after another build using a ton of mud i am absolutely out of wheat 
again. So I want to go see if we can persuade Scott to give us a little bit of his field, because I know he just planted a massive wheat field. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Can I harvest your wheat field? <laughs> Why does it feel like a threat when you're holding a lava bucket? I just, I'm just asking if I can harvest your wheat field right now, Scott. There's no like reason for me to be holding a lava bucket. I've been doing it with the lava bucket though. Oh no, 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 no. So I can <laughs> harvest the wheat field, right? You can harvest a small section of the wheat field, not the entire wheat field. Oh yeah, so just a just a small section of the wheat field. Not, yeah. Yep. Just a just tiny one. Not not like half. Maybe maybe half. We can we can harvest half the wheat field. The right half of the wheat field. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, as long good as thing you I can just look it. the other way and then it's on the left. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> What's a good thing he allowed me to gather up the wheat field here so I can just run around and get it all because I need a lot for some more mud down the road. And there we have it. Plenty of new hay bales for ourselves, and that's going to be fantastic for some new builds in the future. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like down below if you did enjoy, and be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. But with that, my friends, I'll catch you all on the flip side.